Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the drawing file in Autodesk Inventor. I'm going to keep things pretty simple for us just to make sure that we get the basics down. Um, and then some other videos will have some more advanced settings within the drawing file. So to start your drawing file, what I always recommend doing is opening up your 3D object. And so here's my part file. Um, all it is is an extruded trapezoid. And what I'm going to do is create the file after I save this and open it up. So I've saved it as a 3D object just so you guys can see that. Um, the reason I say open this up is because if you open up the drawing file after you have this open and saved, it will automatically import that file into your drawing file, which makes it a lot easier for you. So I'm just going to go up to File. I'm going to go to the arrow next to New. And then I'm going to click on Drawing. And this will actually create the drawing file. <clears throat> so when you open up the drawing file, you're going to see a couple things. First of all, you're going to see the border, uh, which is nice. It's also labeled with some, with some numbers. And then down on the bottom is your ANSI. Okay, and this has information like your title, your name, like who drew it, um, the company. And those are some things that I'll show you how to insert in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is insert the item or the object into the file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the base button in my ribbon. So under place views, there's base. I'm going to click on base. And it's going to click and put in the view that it thinks is the front view. And so for mine, it is the front view. If yours isn't the front view, you're just going to use this view cube to go ahead and rearrange it how you want to. So if I just click on this, just so you see, this is actually my top view. But if that's the better front view, then you would want to use this cube in order to change that view. So after I have my base view, okay, and that's located there, and I actually have my screen on split. So I'm going to bring in the box that you're going to see as well. So you're going to have this box as well. You want to also place the top view and the side view for your orthographic sketch. And so I'm going to bring my mouse up, and you're going to see I can click for my top view. And then to the right is going to be my side view. And then the last view is your isometric view. And so if you go diagonal of it and you click again, you're going to have your isometric view. Um, some of the things that you can control when you're placing this in is the size. So the size down here is my scale. Right now it's at 10 to 1. If I change that size, here's 5 to 1, here's 4 to 1. And depending on your size of uh, your dimensions, you're going to want to scale it a little bit differently. So mine actually works 10 to 1. This is a really small object. It's uh, less than an inch with all my dimensions. So my scale 10 to 1 is going to make it full size. Now if you're going to want to do multiple ones on one sheet, you'll make it a lot smaller so you can fit it in a little bit better. All right. Um, the last thing that you want to make sure that's selected is the hidden lines. If you have something that hides lines or you can't see something from a certain view, hidden lines is really helpful because you can also see that that object still exists even though you can't see it from that view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And when it places it, it's going to lose its color and it's just going to be the outlines of the important lines that you see. Okay. Now with the 3D view or the isometric view over in the corner, you're going to want to make that one shaded. So when I mouse over to that area, you're going to see the dotted red lines um, show. You're going to double click when you get over there. And now I can go ahead and shade this object by clicking on the shaded option for style. So I'm going to click on shaded. I'm going to hit OK. And now my 3D or my isometric view is shaded. Okay. Now this has placed the item or the object into your file. If you need to move anything around, you can still do that. Um, but you really want to make sure that you keep this format, where you have the front view in the bottom left, top view right above that, the side views to the side, and then your isometric view is up here. In later videos, I'm going to show you how to then dimension these sketches. That way you can get um, your sketches dimensioned so you know the sizes. And then I'm also going to show you a couple other features that the drawing file allows you to do. 